What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we finally have it. The first features of the 1.20 update are finally here. We are going to be looking at basically everything that was announced at Minecraft Live. Very interesting to actually have these features so soon after Minecraft Live. Usually we have to wait a while for them, but that's kind of what Mojang was going for this time. Having these features ready when they were announced so we actually get to see them up close and personal right away. The first thing, of course, that we're taking a look at is camels. Camels are being added to Minecraft and they are very, very cool. They're, of course, very similar to horses, but they have a few uh, changes from horses which make them very different and actually very useful for a bunch of different situations. So the first way that camels actually differentiate from horses is going to be their dash feature. Now you just saw me dash across those buildings and I think this is actually a really cool feature that could be very useful for crossing over ravines and even rivers. Uh, now I don't know the exact range of the dash, I should have kind of tested that a bit more, but the dash was useful enough to get across uh, all these village buildings right here, which I think is a great feature to have and does make it a little bit different than the horse. Now the camel is also very tall. What I'm going to set up next uh, kind of shows that off. Basically camels can walk right over fences. This is very unique. No other mob can do that. And before we actually get into that, take a look at this creative menu now. The creative menu is entirely different than it was before. All the places of blocks have been kind of rearranged to make everything a little bit easier. And of course, with all those new blocks, we of course have to talk about bamboo as well because bamboo finally has a wood set of its own. And one nice little thing to mention right there is that the infested stone does not pop up before just regular stone. Finally, a great change because I was absolutely tired of accidentally using infested stone every once in a while. But you can see there's a few changes across the whole creative menu. Uh, and I think this actually is very, very friendly now. Uh, very easy to use, find everything you need. There of course probably be some more tweaks uh, before the actual update finally comes out but we are seeing uh, some changes right now, which I do really like. Also worth noting, the bundle is in this uh, snapshot as well. The bundle went missing uh, kind of after the 1.18 update was announced, but we finally have it back and they're testing uh, ways out to input it into the 1.20 update, which I would absolutely love because the bundle is a great little feature that will actually show off a little bit more in a few here. But let's first take a look at this mosaic bamboo type. Now I think this is kind of a really cool looking block. I think it's going to be great for a lot of different design features. Right here we have just the normal bamboo planks. And I think this uh, is, you know, kind of a better wall. It's got those uh, vertical uh, planks and everything, which looks great for walls. And the mosaic does actually work a little bit better for flooring, at least in just a build like this. Now I'm just throwing things together here just to kind of show off what these new blocks look like. And we also, of course, have doors and trap doors uh, with this update as well. I really like the look of these. Uh, the windows with the doors are nice and the trap doors look really cool as well. I'm definitely excited to finally have bamboo as kind of a, a more useful wood in Minecraft. It should be definitely very interesting uh, seeing all the new and improved bamboo farms that come out and everything just to really show off how much you can do with bamboo because it's going to be great being able to farm all that bamboo and then turn it into chests and other things like that. Now the bundle, which I'm kind of showing off a little bit here, holds a full 64 items. Now that can be 64 different items or it can be just a mixture of items that gets you to 64. If you right click while you're holding the bundle, it'll throw all of those items out like you just saw. And if you click or if you hold the bundle and then right click on items, it will also pick those items up until it hits 64. Now you can see it doesn't pick up the full stack of bamboo because I used uh, some of the other blocks, uh, six other blocks in that bundle, so it doesn't pick those up. And I think that is a very nice feature and very easy to use uh, the bundle to probably make things like mining and adventuring a lot easier for your storage space. I don't know if this is an entire fix to the storage system, but it definitely does help a bit. Now, what I was actually originally going to show off was the camels being over to walk over these fences here, but of course all these new features just get a little distracted here, but I'm just going to set up a little fence here just to kind of show off exactly what camels can do. 
And just to show off my point a little more, these bamboo fences brand new and you still can't jump over them. Uh, I lost my original camel so we'll just have to saddle this guy up. Normally they're just kind of laying around and you can saddle them up and they'll get up eventually although they may take a little bit of time but then you can walk right over these fences right here which I think is super super great uh, and definitely uh, gives you a lot of possibilities for what you can do with camels maybe just walking straight into uh, your base or something like that I'm not too sure if they'll walk out of the fences on their own I put this camel inside the fence and left it there for quite a long time and it never moved but i don't know if that's just because camels are kind of lazy or if it really just can't walk out on its own camels also are going to be bred uh, with cactus and uh, there's a lot of debate on if it's going to be this regular cactus that we have right here or if they're going to add a new variant of cactus into the Badlands. I think we're going to have to wait for the official update to finally see that, but hopefully we do get a snapshot of some new cactus very soon. It hasn't been discussed by Mojang at all, but a lot of players in the community have been asking for it so far. Camels, also being very tall, tall enough to walk over fences, have one other unique ability which we have to switch over to night in, in order to actually see this. Now if we spawn a bunch of zombies, it's really, really cool because camels are actually tall enough that if you're riding on top, these zombies won't be able to hit you. Of course I'm in creative here, but if I switch over to survival, uh, and if I get away from these hay bales, which is giving the zombies a platform, you'll see that these zombies can't actually touch me. This is such a great way to be able to escape mobs or get through a night. Uh, I think this is probably the best feature of the camel so far. You see if I stand close enough to these hay bales here and I'll actually move a little closer. The zombies will still be able to hit me so you aren't untouchable on top of a camel but it will at least keep you out of range of these zombies when you are riding a camel normally. Now this isn't going to protect you from things like skeletons, uh, if you get off your camel of course, or you know taller mobs like endermen and a creep will, will probably mess you up as well. But it is super useful to be able to kind of avoid some of these mobs and you can of course sprint away on the camel as well. Now we've talked a lot about the camel, let's kind of move away from that and to probably my favorite feature of the 1.20 update and that is these chiseled bookshelves. Chiseled bookshelves are something the community has been asking for for a long time now and it's basically a way to store enchanted books, books and quill, and normal books. Uh, they'll all go into this in the same kind of uh, pattern that you see here, that blue, green, uh, purple. It's all going to look the same no matter what type of book it is but you can fill these up with all of your enchanted books which personally I'm super excited to do that's probably what I'm going to be using it for storing all my enchanted books and you can of course remove the books one by one uh, I think the best part about these though is that they are also redstone compatible now I'll go ahead and set up a little redstone contraption here and through the power of editing we now have a little redstone contraption which is basically just a comparator with a redstone line to this piston now you'll notice if I remove uh, or add a book to the very last section of this uh, bookshelf here, it will actually trigger the piston. This allows you to do a lot of different things, including some secret rooms inside of a library. Of course, this is going to be a very popular thing and a lot of people are going to be doing this, so it's not going to be super secret, so maybe don't hide all your diamonds there. Next up, along with bamboo, we are of course getting a new boat type, and that boat type is going to be the raft. Now the raft acts exactly the same as a boat but it just looks a little different and I actually really like the look of these. Uh, they're going to be super fun to adventure with and you can of course put a chest on it just like a boat as well to really give you the maximum amount of storage for when you're out adventuring on a boat. And of course, last but not least in these update features today, we are going to be checking out the hanging signs. Now hanging signs are going to be in all wood types, and this is probably one of the best decorative features they've added in this update so far. Uh, these hanging signs are going to be super cool looking for, you know, shops, uh, just kind of any, basically anything where you need a sign. Uh, that's the best way to put it because these hanging signs are super cool looking. If they don't have a block above them, they'll go ahead and use uh, this little wood piece uh, with the iron just above here. If they do have a block above them, they'll be using the chains uh, without that wood piece above it. Now this is super cool and there's actually some variations on it as well, which we'll take a look at here in a minute. But you can 
uh, kind of turn them so that you can see them from different angles. Basically, you can do a lot with these hanging signs and probably use them for more than just signs. They're going to be a great way to decorate new things. Uh, now, one other thing that you can do with these, uh, and you can kind of see it already here as they're just hanging off the signs uh, at the a horizontal angle but if we actually take a pillar and we hang a sign beneath it it's going to actually change the chain type which we're seeing uh, so that it actually goes along with the pillar and if we hang a sign beneath a block then it's going to have the two chains up to the block uh, just straight up instead of that diagonal which it has with the pillar. Now I think this is just a great little small feature to include that allows you to do a couple different things with it and still looks nice no matter what you put it on. Anyways guys, that is all the new features that we have so far for the 1.20 update. Hopefully we'll be seeing some more snapshots here very soon. Uh, some more looks at some of uh, the camels, maybe even the new type of cactus, and hopefully a lot more things. Mojang is going to be switching up their updates. I'm not really too sure on all that information yet, but we'll definitely check back in with all of that very soon. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.